Hi, today's question is all around intersect and how it can work and why would you even bother with it? This is the Creative Crafters Podcast. Hi, I'm Bet from Bet's Makes, and this is your questions answered. Well, it's a really interesting question because intersect is a lot like slice where you can only use two pieces at a time to really do an effective job. Now, I use intersect for creating new shapes that I can use instead of having to worry about, you know, what's the overlap? What am I going to work with? So, Let's work through a little example that will really help you understand this. Let's create a heart shape and just change the color to red. And once you've got that heart shape, go up to the size and make it two, make it four inches wide. That's a really important part. We want a four inch wide heart. The height doesn't really make any difference. Next, I want you to go to the shapes and grab the square, unlock it, make it two inches wide and five inches high, and make that a different color than black, just so it's easier to see on the screen. Now you have two interesting shapes. So what I want you to do next, this is a little alignment before we use the intersect to get exactly what we want because we want half the heart and that is it. That's the only piece we want. If we use slice, we get a lot of extra pieces and parts. By following my little method here, you're going to get exactly what you need. So select both the heart and the rectangle you just made, and then go to the Align menu. And what you want to do with Align is you want to then align everything to the right, And then go back to a line and you want to align everything. You want to center everything vertically. So now you have your rectangle sitting over the right half of the heart. Now this is perfect because we want to get the intersect of just half the heart. Now select both of them. It's really easy to do. Select them both and just check in your layers panel that you've got your basic cut square and your basic cut heart. Then come down to your combine menu and then click on intersect. Now once you click on intersect, you're going to end up with half a heart. And it's exactly half the heart because we set the width of the heart to double the size and the rectangle to half the size of the heart. And now we have a perfect half of a heart. Now you'll notice in the layers panel that it will say intersect, basic cut, square, and heart. Now this is going to be a permanent shape that you want to use. This is a new shape. Come back to the combine menu and then merge layers. And now you just have a shape all by itself and you can start to work with other pieces and parts of what Design Space has to offer you. This has been the Creative Crafters Podcast and your questions answered.